Hello. Good morning. Today we are at Epcot. Mm -hmm. Space 220 invited us, invited us out to try their new cocktail menu, mm -hmm. and we're gonna eat here as well for lunch. Uh, we've done this before. We've, we've come over to Space 220 for dinner before, and we liked it a lot. It was very good, yes. So we mm -hmm. are gonna do it for lunch. We're also in the virtual queue for Moana. Yeah, Journey, we haven't done that yet. Journey of Water, yes, mm -hmm. we haven't done it yet. And then we also have virtual queue for Guardians, so let's see if we can get uh, those two things done today. I also kind of want to do Soren. Not sure if we're going to get all three of those attractions done, but I was thinking about it. We're like doing everything in Future World today. Well, I don't yeah. think we're even going to touch World Showcase, which is kind of rare, but it's nice <laughs> that there's enough to do now in Future World to stay in Future World uh, and not have to go back to World Showcase. That's right. So Epcot is finally kind of coming back into its own with the walls coming down. Finally. <laughs> so let's go check out Space 220. Yeah, let's get into space. Okay, so we're seated in the restaurant. Um, we were over at a booth last time, which TJ will show you, but I kind of like this spot because it gives you a little bit more of a panoramic view of the windows. Uh, we are on the lower level next to the windows, but not right on the windows. So we're here, uh, one of the reasons we're here is we're celebrating the second anniversary of Space 220, and they've revamped their cocktail menu, and they have this new kind of cool menu. It's kind of like a astrology chart, but it takes you through each of the cocktails that they offer on their cocktail menu and I'm excited to try the new cocktails and this is a fun way to present the cocktail menu. Alright so we have the illumination this is I have the menu here so I can tell you what's in it. It's Bacardi, Malibu, passion fruit, blood orange, pineapple, lime sour, passion fruit, boba. So there's passion fruit boba on this. It comes with a boba straw and I'm gonna mix it around a little bit get that mint leaf in, leaf in there. Let's try it. Mmm. That is very refreshing. It's not too tart. It's just the right amount of tartness. I like this one. And this one wasn't on that specific menu, so it's on the menu that's on the website. And this one's called Up All Night, and it has absolute vanilla vodka, creme de cacao, Lua, chilled espresso, and astronaut ice cream, which is on top, which is pretty cool. And she recommended it. She's a fan of these as well, as am I, so. Oh, it's so smooth. That one's like, it's 
perfect. It's smooth, it's refreshing, and then I'm gonna attempt to get the little ice cream bar on top. I don't wanna use my fingers, but I'm going to. super sweet too. I was expecting it to be just like a normal ice cream bar, but it's sweet and crunchy. It's kind of perfect. <laughs> All right, so we have the Neptuna Tartar, and this is sushi grade yellowfin tuna, avocado crema, mango pulis, edamame, a wonton crisp, and yuzu dressing. I'm very excited about this, so I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try to get some sauce in here too. Very nice. Not over salted in any way. Just a very fresh uh, yellowfin tuna. This is a solid option. Alright, so for my appetizer, I have space greens, which includes bib and bread plus uh, leaf lettuce, honey crisp apples, radish, cornbread croutons, bacon bites, pickled shallots, and warm bacon bread. I'm not gonna bite into it because you don't need to get cheese on the camera. But it's a salad, it's nothing super special. But the presentation on it is amazing. It's definitely space -like. So I'm gonna dig in and then I'll let you know after. So for my entree, I got the steak and frites with a side of the shrimp as well. And so it's just your kind of your steak, standard steak and frites. I got mine medium rare, and there is a, a chimichurri sauce on it. And then I got the solar flare sour, and this is a mocktail. So they did release some new mocktails as part of their cocktail menu refresh. So I'm gonna give it this a sip right now. Mm, that's very nice. It tastes like a cocktail. Very much kind of like a like a sour cocktail. Very nice, refreshing as well. Delicious. And for my entree, I did the Gemini burger. And the Gemini burger is their signature beef blend with white cheddar cheese, bacon, shredded lettuce, tomatoes, roasted peppers, citrus aioli, and fried potato wedges. So basic burger, but just a fancy name. And I'm gonna take a small bite into it and then I'll let you know how it is. So the bacon actually kind of stood out to me as like the surprise hit of the sandwich. Um, it's not too hard, nice and soft. And then the wedges like are huge. So this is, they only give you like one, two, three, four, five, six or so. So it's honestly all you need. But this is filling, this is good. All right, so we have our dessert. We did get two desserts. To be honest, I already had a bite of the one that's in front of me. This is the chocolate cheesecake, and it was, in my opinion, perfect because it's not too chocolatey that you you can't have more than one bite, because sometimes it's very rich when you have a chocolate dessert. And for me, I love chocolate, but like in this, in this format, sometimes it's just too rich, but it was perfect. Uh, and then TJ has, he's gonna show you in a second, his looks very fun very well done it is the carrot cake so yes I did the carrot cake and this is their plant-based carrot cake with it says plant-based twice plant-based carrot cake with plant-based cream cheese candied walnuts and toasted pepitas and you can see by the presentation it has the artisan touch and I think that's really cool so I'm gonna take a bite into it very sweet and it's funny our server came over and she mentioned here let me fill up your water because you're gonna need it now I see why because she's thick <laughs> this is the cake because she's very thick and um, it'll leave your mouth dry for sure but um, it's very good I like it
Entrance area where you enter the space elevator for space 220. That was so good. Yes, I think this is remains a solid choice for sit down dining here at Epcot uh, for sure. They have nice cocktails. TJ really liked his espresso. Martini. Yeah, the espresso and the old fashioned was. And their drinks are their drinks are strong. They are strong. So if you want to get your money's worth, come over here because for sure you'll feel it. <laughs> um, for sure. I will say though, initially when Space 220 first opened, it wasn't everyone's favorite because the menu was kind of all over the place and nothing really hit. But I think the, they've I, definitely redone it. I think the price point was uh, for some people uh, they didn't like it, it was prefixed. Right. Uh, but I think it offers a good value. Uh, lunch is 55, but you don't have to do prefix if you're sitting in the lounge. So if you're sitting in the lounge, you can order off the lounge menu a la carte. So That's a pro tip. We recommend doing that. We haven't done that ourselves yet, but uh, definitely look out for lounge reservations uh, because that's an option too if you don't want to do prefixed. <laughs> All right, so let's continue our day here at Epcot. Let's do it.
existence of anything. Over the course of our year, Xandar experiences periods of total sunlight. with our day here at Epcot. It's a pretty long one, but I'd say productive. It was not long. It felt long to me. <laughs> <laughs> it was not long. We were here for about four hours, four and a half hours. Mm. We had a nice lunch at Space 220. Very good. And then after that, we moseyed over to Moana uh, and the Journey of Water. And I like that attraction. I think it's a nice, a nice addition here to Epcot. Mm -hmm. And then we headed over to do our virtual queue for Guardians, and I finally got Conga. <laughs> and so I think we got all the songs now. Yes, we've done all the finally. songs now. <laughs> and they did let us through, even though our virtual queue time had passed. It was kind of early, but. Yeah, we we kind of waited on that and weren't sure if they were going to let us through, but they did. So I think it just depends on the volume of people that are coming in at a certain time, if they allow people to be late for their virtual queue spot. Right. There goes the monorail. <laughs> So we had a nice day and the weather has broke. We're not in the, the thick of summer anymore. It's mm -hmm. cooling down, which is really nice. And uh, we'll be back soon, I'm sure. It's kind of turning into the season where maybe we'll be in the parks a little bit more because the weather is not so crazy hot. Yeah, we'll have to come back to do that Morocco. Um, the lounge. The lounge, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Because that just opened up not so long ago. All right, guys, <laughs> well, we'll see you guys next time. All right, bye guys. Bye-bye.